All right, guys, um, this is going to be the uh, last part of this. Um, as you can see, everything is mounted. I've uh, used some little three-quarter inch self-tapping screws to uh, bolt the transformer down, as well as my switching transformer. Got the relay all wired up nice and pretty. Um, got a single 120 volt input on the back that ties into both of these and runs through the relay for the uh, main power transformer. <clears throat> um, I've got the magnetic switch still connected. It's still there um, simply for playing. But you can see it's a pain in the ass, um, especially after mounting it. Unless you're really quick and really precise, it, uh, well, you can see. So uh, that's there basically just for ease of mounting my wires. Here is the cable running to this bad boy right here. This is the uh, foot pedal I made. This is out of uh, a couple of uh, ribs out of an old aluminum dolly. Um, got you can see these giant copper contacts um, one side the insulate the live side of this I insulated so this is actually insulated from the aluminum the other side is bolted directly to it so uh, the live side yeah that's correct um, insulated this all up so that it won't short out through the aluminum switch itself and um, It works like a hot dam. Um, I am very pleased with that. So this is actually a mechanical switch. Um, these contacts came out of a, uh, I think it's a 500 amp breaker. So uh, they ought to be more than functional. And if I ever felt the need, I could actually run these with a much larger gauge wire to, uh, you know, run a giant mod. Um, but, as it stands, this only turns the relay on and off, so it's very low current on the contacts. As a matter of fact, if I just barely contact them, I can almost see an arc between the two contacts. Um, so that's 24 volts AC across these. Uh, I do have it disconnected from the mod. I'm going to reset, and uh, we'll show you guys what's up. Okay. We're going to plug this back in, we're going to toss this foot switch right down here on the floor like so. Um, one thing I had not considered, which is actually fantastic, um, this foot switch will allow me to use this whether I'm using the mod or not. Um, I know I mentioned using this to run a, a, a small arc welding setup. What's the best thing about a welder using a foot switch? Yeah. Rather than having to strike it and figure that crap out, I can just get it right where I want. And so, uh, we're going to juice this up. Oh, it's already juiced up. We'll take a little bit of getting used to. But uh, standing on it's a lot easier. This is awesome. Um, I spent a half hour making that switch, so um, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. Um, it didn't take any time at all to rig that up. I did uh, a little bit of soldering on it to make everything fit like it should, but uh, there it is, guys. That is a fully functional, fully finished. I'm not going to put the rheostat on it. Um, I tested it today. It does not work. Very sad. Very upsetting. But um, it'll take a little getting used to. Um, I will eventually find a, a legitimate rheostat for it rather than a little 300 watt. Um, we'll get a legit full powered one and we'll tie it in. Um, 
it's not like it needs it. It's only 9.75 volts. It's very easy to build a coil within that range. And uh, this one has been doing extremely well. I don't even have any plans on uh, replacing it anytime soon. Well, I've got to put my foot further out. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, um, I will post a link to my Facebook group um, in the comments, and um, I am going to post this up in the Facebook group now that it's finished and uh, show it off real well. Oh. Takes up a little more space than my Lysimo, but uh, now I don't have to worry about batteries when I'm working. I can just vape and be done with it. Um, I am going to have to build some kind of pedestal assembly or pedestal mount for this so that I don't have to hang it off of this all the time. But I left more than enough cable for the foot switch so I can adjust it how I please. So, um... In. We're going to reset and uh, I'm going to blow some clouds for you guys. Okay. <clears throat> Got my foot switch out here on the floor. Be a lot easier than flipping a light switch. And I did verify at work today while I was doing all this. Um, I am running right at 475 watts. I mean within like a watt tolerance. Not bad. <clears throat> Not bad at all. time keeping up here. Not bad at all, guys. Babe on, guys. <laughs> 